Hi, in this video we'll be adding the CS50 library for C for code blocks in Windows. If you don't have code blocks already installed on your system, check out the video I made on setting it up. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and the screen card which can be found by clicking on the icon in the top right corner. The CS50 library provides wrapper methods to help beginners solve problem sets taught in the CS50 Intro to Computer Science found on edX. CS50 is a great resource for anyone interested in computer science, providing free and paid completion certificates. It has an active Facebook community with nearly a million users along with Discord and its own discussion forums. The links can be found in the description below. We'll be setting up the CS50 library header file slightly differently to how header files are added per project. In this case, we'll add it to the standard headers folder so we can access it in every project without needing to add the file manually each time. If you'd like to see the typical way of adding headers, I'll add a link to it in the description and the screen cards found at the upper right corner of this video. First of all, we need to download the right files. Open up a browser and search for the CS50 library. Click on the link that says CS50 library for C, GitHub. This will open up the GitHub repo for the library. Click on the link that says SRC. This will contain a CS50.C and CS50.H files. We'll need both as the .H file contains the prototypes and .C contains the actual function definitions. Open the first file in a new tab and along the top row of buttons, click on raw. Click anywhere in the file and click on save as and save the file to somewhere accessible. I'll save it to a folder called CS50 on the desktop. Repeat the process with the second file. Now open up code blocks and create a new project or open an already existing one. I'll create a new project called library test. We'll be placing the CS50.C and H files in our standard library folders in order to access it from all projects we'll be creating. In order to do that, we'll first need to locate the standard library folder. Right click on either preprocessor notation on the top of our main.c file and click on the menu option that says open, include, and the name of the file. This will open the file's definition in the editor. Right click anywhere in this open file and click on open containing folder. This will open up the standard header files folder. Copy the two files we saved previously to this folder. And now back in the IDE, add the following preprocessor notation. Include cs50.c. Make sure you add cs50.c and not cs50.h. To check that everything was done properly, build the program by pressing Ctrl F9 and it should build successfully. Now we can use the helper methods from the cs50 library in our program. I've added the link to the manual for the library in the description below. We can test out that the library is working by using one of the functions to get an integer input from the user in the console by using the getInt method. Now you can see that when the program runs, it will only accept integer inputs and reprompts the user until it gets one. There was a slight issue when trying to use one of the other methods. Namely, the getString method throwing an error message in regards to improper arguments or too few arguments. There's a solution to this. In order to fix it, just pass in an empty string argument separated by a comma and then the message you want to prompt the user. Now when you run it, you can see that the error messages have gone and you can prompt a user for a string message and it will be printed out successfully. And there you have it. You now have the CS50 library to use in code blocks.